I'm gonna ask you some questions. Uh-oh. We're gonna do some debunking. Let's see what you got. All right, do dermal fillers stay in your face forever? Yes or no? No, I mean, there are cases where it can or certain scenarios where it can last for a really long time, but generally speaking, I would say no. Do dermal fillers migrate? Yes or no? Yeah, I mean, in the lips, they can certainly migrate. Okay. Um, and you know, th there's plenty of radiologic evidence that people that had filler in one part of the face later found to go to another part of the face, so it can migrate. Um, but I think in terms of like clinical significance of the migration, I think it's pretty rare. Is under 40 too young for a facelift? I hope not, because I've done it on somebody younger than 40. Okay. Um, <laughs> You know, again, I think it really comes down to anatomy. If you came at age 20 and said, I want a facelift, of course we would say no. But you know, somebody in their late 30s who, unfortunately, you know, through genetics has aging changes that maybe are more in keeping with like, you know, somebody who's in their mid 40s or beyond, uh, that would make them still a candidate for surgery. But it'd be a more minimal access approach for sure. AI imaging, can yes. it predict my surgical outcome? Mm. I think AI is gonna be able to do everything very soon. So <laughs> oh, potentially, yes. You're gonna be out of a job. Uh, it'll be a while before robots are doing surgery, but might not be that far away. Will I look frozen after a full face surgery? No, if you did. I mean, initially there'll be a bunch of swelling and that sort of thing, so maybe there'll be a bit less movement, but no, long term, that should not ever be the case.